What is up, Core Addicts? Welcome back to the Contract DLC. In this video, we'll be customizing the seventh drip feed vehicle of this update, and that is the Class A Granger 3600LX. This vehicle officially released today, January 27th, 2022. It normally costs just under 1.4 million, and the trade price, which is what I have here, is about a million dollars. So, a very expensive SUV for sure, but as with almost everything in this DLC, it has been extremely expensive, so that's no surprise. Um, so I already went ahead and bought it, here it is. And for those of you who've been following the drip feed vehicles, you'll know that we only technically have uh, one drip feed vehicle left, and that is the Reaver motorcycle. And then the following week, they'll bring back the Baller ST, which they had originally temporarily released a while ago, but it will be officially back for good. Uh, next uh, following week after that so anyways Granger here it is very very cool very long as well you can see it almost touches the wall back here um, it's a good looking SUV you know and it even has an exclusive brand new interior as well look at that very very nice so they, they at least put effort in this one <laughs> they didn't just copy and paste a normal interior they've been using in a lot of the SUVs in this update it actually has a brand new one so that's very cool there um, oh now I'm stuck here that's funny let me get out and then open the door so that there we go <laughs> so for those, for those of you who don't know what this vehicle is based on it's primarily based on the 11th generation Chevy Suburban um, so you know it's not the Tahoe because that one's too short it's not really the Escalade because it has a lot of different design cues However, this one does seem to share the Escalade front grille a little bit and the little side uh, little side trim as well right underneath where it says Granger. So those little key factors are pretty similar, but the rest of it is pretty much the Chevy Suburban. Um, and even down to the interior, I mean, if we compare the interior here, they literally gave it almost the identical interior from the actual Chevy Suburban, which I think is just really, really cool. I hope they continue doing that in the future with other DLCs because that level of effort and detail, to me, makes a vehicle worth it and I haven't even started customizing it yet. So, all right, let's go ahead and check out the customization. All right, we got armor, armor plating. So there you go. This one does appear to have a money tech, so that's cool. And what, look at that. So the armor plating blacks out all the chrome trim. That is sick. That is awesome. So all blacked out. That is... <laughs> that's very, very cool. But unfortunately, they're not separate. You see, that? that's a bit of an issue. What if you want the black trim, but you don't want the armored plating? You know, that's definitely something to think about. But we'll throw it on there. Why not? Uh, brakes. Bumpers. Bull bars. Okay. Black bull bars. A, a bit tacky, if I'm being honest. We'll skip that. Rear bumper, same thing here. Yeah, not a fan of that. Maybe if you're going for like a crazy off-road build, I guess that would make sense. Um, exhaust, this does have exhaust. Okay, so stock you have a uh, quad, I guess kind of like rectangular <laughs> exhaust, very strange. And then you got a single, oval, another single, off to the side. Now, oh, now dual, that okay. Not bad. Um, hmm. That's that's definitely a tough one. I think I'm guess I think the last one is probably this one sticks out too far. I think the last one's probably the my best bet there. So we'll do that. So you have an indent hood, which they call street hood. Very nice. Vented hood that looks sick. Stripped hood. Oh, so this one has wait wait stock has like a race section and Then this is just like smooth. Okay Carbon stripe that's interesting vented and then huh Okay, then so uh, some interesting options there um I, I like the one with the indentation. We're gonna do that street hood Horn, skip that. All right, Amani Tech. So this vehicle does offer Amani Tech. That's awesome. That alone, I think, makes it worth its million-dollar price tag. Um, even with the exclusive interior, because 
even adding more to how great this vehicle is. Uh, remote control unit and missile lock jammer, we already know what those do. Um, I guess we'll just throw on here the remote control unit, why not? Uh, lights, throw some xenons. Okay, livery, so this thing does have liveries, okay? Pinstripes, class A. Okay, racing stripes, interesting. Alternate, off-road hero, okay. Half camo, interesting. Hunting camo, that's pretty cool. See, this, this with those bull bars, that would be like a cool off-road build. Patriot beer, oh my, it doesn't get more American than that. A big SUV with a Patriot beer livery. <laughs> uh, zero gas racing livery. Okay, and alternate, and the last one is the, this one here, okay, not bad, um, I don't know, I kind of want to do like a blacked out build, so I guess I'll just skip that, uh, mirrors, carbon, carbon mirrors on an SUV, okay, <laughs> primary and secondary, well stock, they're like plastic, so I think we'll do primary so that they're, you know, whatever color we choose instead of just plastic so do that you got different wind deflectors Not even a snorkel okay so there you go wow you can make an interesting off-road build so you get the camo livery the snorkel the bull bars okay plate oh I got a I got a plate for this one got this, this is the Merca is the perfect plate for this <laughs> Alright, my, my plates are glitched for some reason. It's not letting me go to my Murica plate, so I'll just put my luxury plate on it um, for now until I figure out what's causing that. But primary weapons, this thing does have the optional machine guns you can put. Very cool. Very subtle as well. I, I like how they placed it. Not bad. Proximity mine oil slick, of course. Um, respray. So for this, we're going to go matte black to get rid of the pearl, and then throw a crew black on top looks so so good uh, of course our crew black is darker than the normal black so you see the back and forth a big big difference <laughs> the secondary color is I think it's just yeah just the interior stitching um, I don't even know what you I guess just white <laughs> this, I mean what are we gonna color match that to there really is no other accent we have on this thing so I guess we'll just do white stitching uh, Kremblem goes on the door, both sides hopefully, yep, cool, unlike the eye wagon Okay, roll cage, this thing, okay, a roll cage in a giant Suburban, that's a, uh, well, I guess it's a stunt car now. <laughs> Interesting, a uh, roof, roof rack, okay, and then secondary, wow, so many off-road options for this thing, that's, that's interesting there. Oh, even more, there you go, so that's a, uh, LED bar too, sure why not. <laughs> side steps. Okay, painted sides, interesting. Black clean and clean side steps. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know which one to put. I mean, I think definitely the one with the holes in it, I think that's more like an off-road look. I think maybe the clean one fits this better if you're going for like a simple uh, look. I'm just not sure on whether the uh, the painted one or the standard? I think the painted's too much, so we'll do the, we'll do the standard there, clean. Suspension. Should we lower this? Jesus, that looks ridiculous lowered. It looks like it's on bags or something. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I don't want to lower it that much. I think, I think sports, I think sports uh, suspension is perfect, so we'll do that. Transmission. Oh, turbo is on sale this week. Interesting. Okay, half price. Wheels. Um, so originally I was thinking of putting, uh, these right here, because it had the chrome lip to match the chrome trim, but we got rid of the chrome trim, so I guess we'll put the non-chrome trim version of that, which is in the SUV category, and that would be these right here, so no chrome lip on that. Black, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's nice, very nice, love that. Windows, oh, we gotta black it out, yes, oh my gosh, that's, yes, 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 crew, <laughs> just black it out, black trim, black tints, black wheels, that is perfect, 
That looks so, so good. Okay, that's all the options there. Not terrible. I mean, if you're going for an off-road build, I'm sure you'd love all the options they showed. But in general, I mean, I would have liked to have seen more customization than mainly just off-road stuff. Uh, Alright, let's take it for a drive. Okay. Okay. Shut up, Lester. Okay. <laughs> Floored here. Sounds like the normal Granger. Handles like a normal Granger too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they, they've probably just copied and pasted the file of a normal Granger, which I don't blame them. That one, there's nothing wrong with the way that one drives. Hello? Ah, yeah. It's the <laughs> drives as you would expect. A big, heavy, what? How did that even happen? A big, heavy SUV is exactly how it drives. First person, this new interior. Very cool. And apparently we're in park with the because we have the column shifter on this, which is all the way up. <laughs> it should be down when you go into gear. But it's a, it's a game. I get it. It doesn't have to be that accurate. Um, not bad. So the gauges look pretty similar to the old interior, uh, but the rest of it very very nice, especially the dash. Um, not bad. This thing is all wheel drive, I believe. Let me see here. All wheel drive. Yep, all wheel drive. Nice. Very cool. It, it looks kind of like a mod, especially from the back. It looks so like realistic to the the suburban. It literally looks like a PC mod or something. It's so so cool. Um, from what I've heard, uh, what different people have been saying in the community, and my friend Emperor, he's been testing as well on PC. Um, supposedly this is slower than the standard Granger. I hope that's not true. That'd be a real shame and not really make any sense to me. <laughs> oh, there you go. Look at that. We found the one. The old Granger side by side. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I got the new one. Yeah. How you feel? <laughs> so supposedly that one, the old one, is faster than the new one. I, I hope that's wrong, you know, <laughs> but I guess we'll have to wait and see till uh, Bruffy does his testing, um, but yeah, alright, let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff. Right here in Moore's Mutual, got that motorcycle out of the way. <laughs> this, uh, this this truck, now feel, well, SUV, now feels like an FBI vehicle or something. <laughs> Undercover. Alright. Uh, vehicle doors. All... Engine model, I believe that's the same exact one as the regular Granger. Um, okay. So they didn't put any effort in here, sadly. Uh, I'm just impressed by the interior, honestly. I mean, look at that dash, it looks so good. Like the real one. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, back seats. Not too bad. Usually they put like a weird textured bench seat back here. This one has a little more effort, as you can see. Not bad. Even got the cup holder back there back opens up too. Look at all that space. Oh my gosh. So this is a third row SUV um, but and GTA just has the, the two rows and it doesn't have the other one folded down or nothing. As you can see it's just a big space back here. And They even put, I mean the detail, they even put the hitch cover uh, right between where the exhausts are right there on the bumper. Behind that in real life is uh, a hitch receiver, and usually, um, well, when you buy it, it comes with the that cover to look more clean, and you know you don't have that exposed hitch. So very very nice. Not bad. I'm pretty impressed. You know, this one at least has a lot of effort there in terms of the interior. It has a money tech. Um, the styling looks pretty good, pretty similar to its real life counterpart. Um, I, I'd say this one's worth it. A lot more worth it than the eye wagon was, that's for sure. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.